In this video, we're going to take a look at some additional example problems involving solving one-step equations with addition and subtraction. Uh, our first problem is x plus negative 3 equals negative 1. And the only difference from the previous videos is that now you have two signs right in here. So we're going to talk about how do you deal with this problem when you have two signs in there like that. Uh, so the thing that I don't like about this is sometimes it can be harder for some students to see exactly what you want to do to both sides of the equation to get the variable by itself. So what you want to do is you want to rewrite this. So anytime you add a negative, that's the same as just subtracting a positive. So instead of looking at this problem as x plus negative 3 equals negative 1, I'm going to turn this subtracting a negative in, or adding a negative, excuse me, I'm going to turn this adding a negative into subtracting a positive. Uh, from there, I can see that the inverse of subtracting 3 is to add 3. So I'm going to add 3 on both sides. This cancels out negative 1 plus 3. So I'm thinking 3 jumps to the right of negative 1. That would be positive 2. Let's do my check. So when I do my check, uh, I want to start with my original equation, even with the plus and negative in there. So I have x plus negative 3 equals negative 1. And notice how they group this negative 3 in here. It's up to you if you want to, you know, put a little grouping symbol around that. It's not necessary, but uh, sometimes you'll see that in there, sometimes you won't. Now I'll do the substitution. So I think my x is worth 2. So I'm going to plug in 2 right here in place of x. So now I have 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 1. Do this uh, problem right here. 2 plus negative 3. Uh, notice the signs are different. Uh, so I want to subtract. 3 minus 2 is negative 1. Uh, keep the sign of what there's more of. There's more negatives in this case. And it looks like my check worked out. All right, let's take a look at two more quick examples here. So this next problem, I have y minus negative 16 equals 35. So once again, notice I have these two signs right here in the middle. Uh, so think about, you know, subtracting a negative is the same thing as doing what? Well, it's the same as adding a positive. So y minus negative 16 is the same as y plus 16 equals 35. Now I'm good to go on solving this equation. The inverse of adding 16 is to subtract 16. I'm going to make sure I do that to both sides of the equation so everything stays balanced. 35 minus 16, I can do a little bit of borrowing here. Uh, 15 minus 6 would be 9. 2 minus 1 is uh, 1. So y is equal to 19. Let's do my check. So I have y minus negative 16 equals 35. I'm going to substitute in 19 in place of y. And I'm going to rewrite this. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So I have 19 plus 16. And I can do the work off to the side here if I need to. 9, 9 plus 6 would be 15. Write the 5, carry the 1. And it looks like you do get 35 over here on the left-hand side. Everything checks out. One last example problem. I have z plus negative 9 equals 11. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So I'm going to write this as z minus 9 equals 11. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. This cancels out. 11 plus 9 is 20. Do my check. I'm going to rewrite the original. z plus negative 9 equals 11. I'm going to plug in 20 in place of z because that's what I got right here. 20 plus negative 9 is positive 11, and everything checks out.